Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to take a first look at the new iFlight Titan DC7 HD frame. This 7 inch frame with its dead cat design perfectly fits the new DJI FPV system, but it's also a pretty interesting frame even if you want to use it with a classic analog video transmitter. First of all, we are going to unbox the iFly Titan DC7 HD frame. The box contains all carbon parts like the two boomerang arms and the top and bottom plates. We also get screws and standoffs as well as a lot of 3D printed TPU parts for protecting the frame and mounting additional hardware. The iFlight Titan DC7 also comes with two battery straps, two battery anti-slip mats, four motor wire protective tubes and stickers. Now we are going to take a closer look at the frame parts. Here we have the front and the back carbon arms with a thickness of 6 mm. The arms are mounted between two 3 mm thick bottom plates. The top plate of the frame has a thickness of 2.5 mm. And here we have the TPU mount for the DJI Air unit, two battery anti-slip mats and battery straps. Followed by the carbon FPV camera mount with additional TPU adapters for mounting mini and micro size cameras. As well as the motor wire protective tubes and the TPU arm protections. Here we have the standoffs, the flight controller soft mounts, nylon nuts, screws for mounting the camera and the DJI Air unit and the screws for assembling the DC7 frame. We get four 20mm hex screws, four 60mm hex screws, eight 12mm hex screws and 12 8mm hex screws. And last but not least, here we have the TPU mounts for the receiver, the receiver antennas and the video transmitter antennas. Next, I'm going to show you the basic steps for assembling the iFlight Titan DC7 HD frame. First of all, we need the shorter bottom plate. Make sure to place the rounded edges facing downwards. The four 20mm screws are for the flight controller stack mount. We first need the four 60mm screws, followed by eight 12mm screws. Then we can place the front and the back arms onto the bottom plate.
After that, we can place the longer bottom plate with the recess pointing upwards onto the arms. By the way, this recess is for the 4-in-1 ESC connector in order to realize a flat stack mount. Now we can tighten the screws. Last but not least, we can install the four center standoffs. These two standoffs are for the back side. The next steps are pretty self-explaining, so we are going to skip to the final assembled frame. And here we have the assembled iFlight Titan DC7HD frame. This frame offers enough space for mounting the hardware and big batteries. It's also very stiff with its bottom construction of the 6mm thick arms and the two 3mm thick bottom plates. Here we can see the mount for the DJI HD video system, but you don't need to mount it if you don't want to use the DJI Air unit. I'm going to use this frame for a long range quad with a classic analog video transmitter, because I don't own the DJI HD system. I will keep you updated about my iFlight Titan DC7 quadcopter build. If you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe to my channel. What do you think about the iFlight Titan DC7 HD frame? Tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.